let's now head back out to Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger live in Asheville. Derek, you're along the Swannano River and you've been there all day long. So take us through what changes that you're seeing just in the last 30, 40 minutes. Uh, well, we've started to see the uh, water start to slowly inch up, and this is kind of something that we've seen mostly throughout this afternoon. Uh, we do know the waters had receded from where they were just a little bit earlier because there was flooding up all around this area just a little bit earlier this morning. In fact, some of the roads are still closed. If you want to take a look here with me, you can see that car that's turning around right now, that road, road close sign up there. Uh, this a specific road here is actually right up along the Swannanoa River, and uh, as a result of that, uh, it's also a little bit more low lying as well so the bank essentially meets the road here and that is essentially what is causing some of the uh, road closures here and there actually is a worry that more of that rain as the rain gets uh, we get more intense and as we see more rain uh, coming and more water coming up uh, from the Swannanoa River, Swannanoa River rather we will be seeing more issues especially on the roads here and this is something that many people are kind of worried about in tonight especially because we've already seen some boarding up that's already happened at some of these businesses here. Alicia. Derek not to put you on the spot right now but I know you're from the mountains and you were there in 2004 when the last flooding of this magnitude happened. So what can you tell us about what you're seeing now and what you remember from back then? Well, the flooding here in Asheville and around the Asheville area was catastrophic. Now, for the sake of qualification here, I'm from Jackson County, which is about two counties west of where we are right now. And that area, they had evacuations in some of the smaller communities. I know that because my dad was actually one of the people, uh, he was working for the county at the time, who helped with some of those evacuations at the time. And But also one county over from that in Macon County, there was also this really deadly uh, mudslide. It's a landslide that made national headlines because it killed two people. It destroyed 15 homes. That was back in 2004. Back in 2004, the storms of 2004, there were back-to-back -back hurricanes, which caused some problems here, and this is the, kind of the basis for what they're saying. This could be equal to that of what we saw in 2004 here now because of Helene and what's been coming up and the intensity of what we have seen here so far. Alicia? Reporting live from Asheville. I knew you could give us a history lesson on that area. Thanks so much for your coverage.